In this video, I will show you how to fix the Roblox authentication error code 429. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are getting an error message when you're trying to play Roblox and it's this error code 429, then don't worry because this is not your fault. Uh, normally this is due to like a network error. So it's just a case of waiting about an hour or two for the problem to be resolved and the servers to be back up and running. There is something you can try in the meantime to see if you can bypass this. And to do this, what you're gonna to want to do first is come to your desktop. And then what you want to do is come down to your search box down in the bottom left hand corner, give that a click and type network. Now underneath best match, you should have this come up saying your network connection. So what you want to do is click this to open it. And it's going to give you a list of all your current networks and internet connections. Now, what you want to do is look for the one that hasn't got a red cross. So you can see these two with the red cross are not currently being used, but this is the one that we want to look for. So once you've found this, go ahead and highlight it, right click, and then come down and click onto properties. So from here, this is going to open up another window. And what you want to do on here is look for uh, internet protocol version four, which is this one down here. So you want to highlight this and then again, come down and click onto properties. And what we're going to do is just change the DNS server addresses. So what you want to do is come down to the bottom and click this button. In the pre preferred DNS server box, you want to click and put eight, 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 eight. And underneath where it says alternative DNS server, you just want to put eight, eight, four, Cool. So once that's done, go ahead and click OK to apply the changes. And what you can do is just come out of this, come out of this and restart your computer. So if you restart your computer and load up Roblox, hopefully this should help you bypass that error code. However, if it's still coming up, as I mentioned previously, it's just a case of waiting about an hour or two for the servers to be fixed and back up and running. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today, and if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.